What is up everybody? This is Lyle No Hippie Trucking and Transportation. Finally made my way back out to Salt Lake City, but let me tell you, it has been a journey. So I got out here a few days ago to take the uh, trainer training. Had a little bit more time here than I needed, so my fleet manager's like, hey man, you wanna grab this load, run it to Denver, I'll get you something on the way back. So I'm like, cool. So I take a load, run it out to Denver, supposed to drop at 2 a.m. I get to the Denver yard about eight in the morning the day previous to that. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get some good relaxation, drop this load off, head back out to Salt Lake City. Wrong. So I get the message that you always get. At least I've been getting off the Denver yard lately and I'm going to have to start being like some of these other guys, but hey Lyle, <clears throat> sales wants to know if you could deliver this load at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Now, in my mind, what I thought about doing, because I knew I was going to pick up a load early that next morning, drop off my load at 2 a.m., go hang back for a second, wait for the next load to come in, which they were telling me was going to be a Sam's Club load, wait till I get, till that load is ready, then bounce up to Fort Collins, pick it up, make it out to Salt Lake City in one shift. But no, could you help us out with this load? You know, there's nobody else that could do it. I'm like, I just got done talking to somebody that said they've been at the Denver yard for like two days in a row. And he's like, you know, hold on a second, let me check something. So he said, yeah, sales said that that guy at the yard is the same person that turned him down and, you know, before, so didn't want to ask him again. So could you take the load? So I said, you know what, I'm going to take it, but I'm not that happy about it. You know what I'm saying? So, because it was like eight miles paying like $43 or something goofy. They need to just up that pay to a minimum $100 and take it out of the load on the first driver. I would pay that if I was going to drop some bullshit on somebody. So anyway, I dropped my load off at 2 a.m. Actually, I get there about 1. They got me out of there about 1.30, so good to go drive back to the uh yard and no i did not wash that trailer none of that stuff i ain't doing none of that stuff for no favors so i'm sorry if you pick up the trailer you know it's not that bad you might have to step your ass in there and blow it out but i was not washing it out on top of all this so did that hooked up to my next trailer and then uh went out to my drop off at eight in the morning so drop off the load uh, I'm there like three hours so get a little bit of detention like $14 something goofy like that and I'm just leaving the shipper or receiver and I just sent a text because it was the same fleet manager on duty not mine that you know had asked me to do this favor and I said in hindsight I would have paid somebody a hundred dollars myself to drop this load I don't think anything about it I get a load sent over and he's like, okay, the load's ready at Sam's Club. And I said, you know what? Sorry again, guys. I'm usually the one that's always washing out trailers, but I'm like, hey, I'm gonna drop this trailer off of the Denver yard. Actually, my first trailer was not dirty. That's right. I'm gonna drop this trailer off of the Denver yard. I'm gonna go pick up the trailer that I had before and I'm gonna run it out to uh, the drop off. Cool, all right. so. Uh, the reason I was upset about it, and he asked, you know, why, and I, or, you know, what I didn't like about it, and I just said, you know, I wanted to make it to Salt Lake City in one shift instead of two shifts like I ended up doing, but like I said, didn't think about it. I go look up the load later to put my documents in it and everything, and uh, I ended up getting paid like $260 on it, so that made it worth a little bit, all right? So... I've never been to this Sam's Club before. Generally, we're gonna be messing with the distribution level every now and then. With Sam's Club, we will deliver at the store level, which is what this was. I didn't expect it. I get out there and I pull up around back of the store, go to the seat of the receiving lady, and she's like, I need you to do, help me out with a few things. I'll meet you outside. So there were four prime trailers in docks. 
she wanted me to move all the trailers that were in the dock, which actually only ended up being three, but move all the trailers out of the dock and park them next to, you know, the docks. Take one of our prime trailers that was there that was loaded, put that in a spot, and then once I emptied these trailers out, put the trailer in that uh, I brought and then take an empty. So I, I ended up just taking the last trailer that was in the dock, it was empty. So that's a lot of work. And you know what? I'm here to, you know, one of the things I'm gonna get done here is get the catwalk replaced on my truck because that damn thing bounced off my truck. So I don't have a catwalk on there right now. So typically if I was gonna do something like this, I would, you know, take off my air, electrical lines, all that kind of stuff, lay them on the catwalk, and then just do what I gotta do. But since I don't have a catwalk, I had to put those back into the little holder things every single time. Man, that wore me out. I'm just saying. And there were those times when I'd like, you know, cause I wasn't rolling the landing gear up all the way. So I just rolled up a little, but then I get in the truck and I forget that I didn't have my electrical line, you know, my air lines and all that stuff in. So I'd have to get back out. It just wore me out. So, um, finally did all that. The lady thanked me for, uh, forgot how she put it. Thanked me for not, basically for not being a dickhead about it. And, uh, drove down to the terminal. I got my student and I'm not calling him a student, but my trainee co-driver, he is already here. And I was like, man, I can't meet you today. I am too wore out. So, uh, I was about to put my truck into Bay 61 out here for an assessment to see if they could do it right there or what would need to get happen or ha what they would need to get the thing done. And I was like, you know, I'm too tired. I'll just deal with it tomorrow night. So went up, took a shower and, uh, when I was done with the shower, I was just like too wore out to make that walk back I was like man let me just chill out in this TV room for a second ran into a guy that used to work at Wilson uh, Wilson Logistics and uh, said he made the move over to Prime once Wilson got bought by Ashley Furniture and I guess it's a shit show over there at Wilson right now from what he said had a nice little conversation with him allowed me the chance to uh, regenerate and uh came down here got in the truck made a call to my wife and I'm about to be comatose here in a little bit but them Sam's Clubs loads you know I've done them before I think I've done two in Idaho and you know it's always the same thing because you pull this trailer out you know and then put your trailer in and then you could take that trailer you know that's usually it but you know four trailers and then put two in docks I was wore out so anyway uh, start this training to be a trainer class tomorrow it's been over a year since I had uh, done any training so I got to go back through that class uh, supposed to go till Friday and then depending on how I feel we may not leave till Saturday or Sunday I don't know uh, I may just wait till my fleet manager comes in tell him what I'm looking for and uh, just relax these those few days or unless I see a good load going the going where I want but that's about it guys just uh, just wore out some of you young bucks, you know, that would have been nothing. You know, get out there, hop up and down 45 times, do all that stuff, drop a trailer, but that's a lot of damn work. Anyway, I'm about to get off here, uh, come back here and go to sleep. Do appreciate you guys stopping by No Hippie Trucking and Transportation. As always, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.